Hey, what's going on, you guys? Welcome back to Flynn Hills. Let's get into it. As you guys can see, it is finally spring in Flynn Hills, and that means we've got a lot to work to do. Throughout the winter, we actually fold a lot of horses. We've had a lot of them shipped out already. As you can see, this pin only actually has one horse remaining. We've got a fair amount over there and over there. Uh, we have shipped out quite a few here so far, though. But it is finally spring. The weather is nice and beautiful outside. And I think it's time that we get to work. I guess first thing we should do is probably take care of the horses. So let's find us our little tractor. Ah, there it is. And we'll just fire up the little tractor. We're going to pull this back and connect up to the water. Make sure that they've got water first and foremost here and we still have yet to replace the 6r that we ended up having to sell on the farm so i'm going to talk to king about that and see if we can't figure that out but until then we'll just have to go without the 6r for a little while we'll be all right in the grand scheme of things so let's pull this right on off of over here we're going to back up to the water trailer make sure it's got water in it and go water the horses also while we're at it i despise this water trailer so i think we're probably gonna try and replace it as well but that can wait for now let's go and uh water some horses and get on into it as always over 67 percent of you guys are not subscribed so if you want to help a pickle out then click that subscribe button to join the pickle jar community also i want to say if you guys enjoy American Truck Simulator, Minecraft, Bus Simulator, GTA 5, 5M Roleplay, or really just almost any game, uh, then check out Casually Pickled in the description down below uh, because we have been posting a variety of content over there and we are going to continue to post a variety of content over there on that channel. So I know that there's some of you that really do enjoy stuff like American Truck Sim, so if that's the case, then make sure you go and check out that channel. That's uh, that's going to be the variety channel. The main channel here, dedicated to farming sim, of course. But if you want to see other content from myself and my, uh, my friends, then you can check out the other channel, Casually Pickled, down below. But we got one field or one pasture, paddock, whatever you want to call it here, watered. Now we just got to do the last couple here. Hopefully that opens up the other way. Please, please. Whew. And we're going to finish uh, watering the horses. And then we'll give them hay. And we'll let's just drive right on in there. Why not? I'm awful at driving sometimes. And then we'll move on to our next task here today. Well, we've almost got all of the horses watered here. We just got to go out into the big pasture there. And make sure we get all of the various water troughs watered out there. We have multiple of them. Just because it is such a large pasture, we like to spread those things out. We're almost done watering here. We'll move on to feeding. And then uh, I think the next thing we're going to do is get out and start doing some spring tillage. Got to get to ri uh, ripping up the ground out there. We also will be expanding the farm farther to the north there. Um, right up uh, right up to the road almost. But we got to think that through and we got to talk to King about that and see what he, what he thinks about the expansion plans. So that'll be sometime, hopefully, this spring or summer that that happens. And because it's that time of the year and the ground's not frozen anymore, we can finally rip up the track as well over there and get it ready to go for riding horses and get back into training them as we, as we should be. So we'll probably be doing that today as well. Man, oh man, I love this farm. Oh, 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 hello, tree. It is just so beautiful here. Like, I think that track area right there is my favorite place in the world. It's just so pretty. Look at that view, dude. Oh, my gosh. This is definitely my favorite farm that we have made in any series to date. King did a fantastic job on it. And there we go. All watered up. Horses now have plenty to drink out here. And we should probably go around and put some bales in the various bale uh rings there just to make sure that they've got something to drink or eat as well here this morning all right we're done watering we're just gonna pull this right up here and that'll do right there shut her down hop out 
Let's run in here. We're going to take the case skid steer. It's the only thing we can use at the moment to water our, uh, or to, not water, to feed our horses. And we've got some bales sitting right over here. So we're going to take a few bales out to a few pastures here and make sure that they are good and fed here today. So first, I'm going to work on the pastures that are the farthest away and work our way back towards the bale shed. I think that's going to be about the best way for us to go about it. So we're going to do the big pasture first, then we'll move on to these little pastures. They already have hay. They need hay. They need hay. They need hay. They need hay. And the studs need hay as well, if I remember correctly. All right. So I think we're only going to need to give them one bale for now. That ought to hold them off for a while. So there they go. They've got a bale now. That horse is walking circles through the ring. You all right there, buddy? You're, you're looking a little antsy in the pansy. Ah, that's all right. I'm sure that you're fine. Actually, you know what? I don't need to do that pin because what I guess what I didn't show you guys is we actually moved that horse since there's only one in the pin. We moved that horse back in the big pasture with them. So I guess that pin can stay empty. Uh, we'll need to do this one, that one, and the studs. All right, so we'll just pull on in here. I got the gate open, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Hopefully none of the horses try and get out. Let's quickly drop that bale, though. Whip back around. Watch them horses. Yeah, there's a couple walking towards the gate. Now they, they held themselves up. All right, cool. None of them tried to get out. It's a little bit of a risky move to leave the gate open like that. But uh, it works. It works until it doesn't work. And then you have a pain in your butt that you have to chase horses. But, you know. But you guys get the idea. We're going to do this for a little while here. Get all of them fed. And then we'll move on to the other work yet today. So we've got the gator ready to go. We're just going to back right on up here. And these are light enough to be able to pick up by hand. So we're just going to pick one up here. We'll place it right in the back of the gator. And that'll do. That's definitely plenty of feed for both horses. It's far more than we need. Set that right back there. And let's go give this to the studs. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I wasn't expecting it to dump in here. I didn't realize that this could hold material. That's not what I wanted to do at all. But what are you going to do about it? is what it is looks to me like we got to clean the the dirt out of the pen here that's all right we'll dump a little bit in there now that stud has their feed they have water as well we watered them earlier wild gold is good now we'll run on over here take care of sebring and make sure that sebring has some feed as well and there we go sebrings get taken care of and all the horses have been fed. We can get into the next task here today. And I think that's just going to be ripping up the training track. That way it is ready to go. We'll let the horses eat a little bit and have a little bit of a more relaxing morning. And then we will take a couple out and get take them on a couple laps around the training track. So what we'll do is go rip that up. Then we'll go out and we'll start doing some tillage. And then we'll come back and train the horses. So let's roll on over to the track. We'll hook up to our little harrow that we've got back there for the track. And uh, we'll get to ripping it up. We also have the little training circle right here that we can utilize at some point this year. I think King and I, we've got a couple horses, new horses that we need to break to lead. So we'll probably be using that at some point. As you can see, this track hasn't been taken care of in quite some time. So we better get hooked up here and get to going on that. All right, we're hooked up. We're just going to back this thing right on through this little opening here. We're line ourselves on up, and we will get to ripping up this track here today. Let's go ahead and drop that down and get to rolling. So we're going to make a few rounds on the training track, as you can imagine. Get this thing all ripped up it's been sitting dormant all winter long so we're just gonna make it a nice bed for us to train horses on here and also knock out any of the weeds that had kind of grown up or anything like that through the winter or any seeds that are in here and uh we'll go from there this really is the most beautiful farm that we've ever made in farming some guys i mean look at how beautiful this whole farm is it is immaculate I can't be happier with it. I hope you guys like it too. Our tractor's having a bit of a hard time here. It's blowing a little bit of a uh, blue smoke on occasion there. You see that? And we're, we're kind of going in and out of power. I think uh, 
I don't know if we have some water in the fuel. I could be. We might just need to check the fuel filter. Maybe it's time to replace that fuel filter. Uh, we'll probably have to take it in and get some maintenance done on it here. It's feeling a little sluggish. But I'll tell King about that. We'll, we'll set aside some, some time before we get real busy this uh, this spring. And we'll, we'll get this thing all fixed up. I still want to do some sort of decorative design in the middle of this, uh, this track here. I feel like that's wasted space. I feel like we can make it pretty of some sort. We could do some rocks or or something out there. Waterfall would be cool. I mean, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. I'm just kind of spitballing ideas. But we're pretty much done with the track here. It has been all worked up. So we'll pick that on up out of the ground there. And we will put this little harrow right back in its little spot over here. And we will get in probably the 8400. Get the case uh, ripper that we have. The case disc and we'll get out in the field here today let's roll right on over here the case should be parked down front right about here there it is we'll back up to it connect to it and take it on out to the field all right we're here and we're gonna get to rolling come on come on 8400 work your way up there you go Ooh wee this thing is taking a lot of power to pull holy cow this and this 8400 wind up that sounds so good. All right, as much as I'd love continuing on this, we better we better get on over and get to uh, get to riding some horses here this morning. So we'll just leave the tractor right here, shut her down, and we'll come back out and continue that a little bit later. We're gonna go over and snag a couple horses, probably from this pasture right here. Let's just hop the fence. And we're gonna take them out for a ride on the track there, do a little training. So who do we wanna ride first? Uh, Mr. Spotted, you. We got all saddled up, we're ready to go. We're gonna head right on down to that gate, head on over to the track, do a couple laps. Let me know what you guys think we should add to our, uh, our horse ranch here. What uh, expansions we need, what buildings we should put, and. Or what facilities we need to add should we make another track maybe a bigger one have a small one and then a big one i don't know let me know what you guys think in the comments down below but we're gonna do a couple runs here on the track and guys that is gonna do it for this video hopefully you all enjoyed today's video if you did make sure you give it a thumbs up thank you all so much for watching and until next time i'll see y'all later peace Can you picture